Good day, everyone. Your Tricks of Hopes Race here. I'm here to proudly present to you our fifth installment of our worldwide world family trick videos. In this installment, you're going to be seeing 13 tricks in this installment. Here, we will have is two classics within this one. Where, can, where is this going to be held? Inside my place. I'll see you, Mew, inside there. And here I am in the inside. Here is where I will be calling up our first trick. That is the magic salt to coin magic trick. Here's what this will look like. Okay, so here I've got my uh, empty hand here and i got my uh, salt right here. I'm gonna actually just place this in to my hand. Like this in the palm, you can see? There's the salt. Watch, I can actually just rub that right now and watch. By magic, it turns into a coin. Salt to coin. How is this one done? As it is, I'm about to reveal the C. Chris, all you will be needing is your more known salt from your kitchen. You see, just here, and of course, you'll be needing is. Ooh. My goodness, looks like the ocean spray kind of sprayed that coin off there. Here, let me sit and try and uh, retrieve it. Re 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 retrieve it from the water. Over here. Okay, so you can see in this water here, as it was, my coin. I don't know what happened there. I think the wind um, took it in and put it into the water. Watch as this reaches in. Watch. I retrieved the coin from the water. Okay, now. Here is the handling on how this was pulled. All you're going to do is you're going to use your um, coin and put it into your fingers up just like this. That way it looks nice and completely empty as he does right here. Then what you'll need is your well-known salt to come into play. You're going to turn this into a coin. It's very simple. Because you're going to make sure that this is up here and you simply you just put the salt in, get a little shake like that. So you can see it go in. It's okay if you do it like this, because you can show it like this. Be careful not to expose the coin. And as you rub, you can actually flip this very quick, quickly down to, dis to disguise that. You give it a rub, and by magic, the salt turns into a coin that you can see just right here. And that right there is what you do, the magic salt to coin magic trick. Bring us down to our trick number two. And that is the ring and lace magic trick. Here's what this ring and lace will look like. Before we get ourselves into it, let me just take off my jacket so you can see what I'm wearing underneath this. Something plaid, not stat. I got a nice tie on it as well too. And now, here is the magic trick to you right now. So you can see here, I got my lace here and I got my ring onto here. You see here? You're actually just gonna just two is looking pretty magical with this. I'm gonna just go here. I'm gonna actually do pretty magical with the ring. Check this out. So it's still on. I'm going to position. Watch. It's still on. Three, two, one. By magic, I take it right off. So how did I do this one? This is about to reveal the secrets. Here's what you're going to need to make lace and ring magic. Let's see, just right here. And that is what you'll see right here. A ring, you can get a gold ring or a bronze ring or anything will do. Nice and small. You can get this in your craft store or in the hardware section. Then some blue lace or any lace will do. Here I chose the blue because of the blue stuff that you'll be seeing in this installment. Okay, what you're going to do is going to put the uh, ring on the lace like this first. Make sure it's in the center of the of the lace. Take the two ends of the lace and put them close to each other like this, and you're gonna hold it like this in your fingers, nice and loosely. 
as you see, just right here. Now what you're going to do is, you're going to pay attention to the ring and pull on it like this, showing that it will not bust free. All you gotta do is move the ring up to where the uh, lace is here, where it's going to come off. You're going to make sure that you hold grip and pull it down like this, down to the uh, center. You can see the uh, the ring like this, still on like this. All you gotta do is simply yank on it and tug and it will break free like this. By magic, taking the ring off a ring lace, you see, just right here. It's a very um, interesting um, magic trick that you could do with just a ring and a blue lace, or any, any lace will do. There, you get yourself an amazing lace and ring magic trick. It's a very simple um, magic trick that anyone can do. And that right there is how you do the magic lace and ring magic trick. Bring us down to our trick number three. And coming to our trick, which I like to call the penetrating paper coin magic trick. Here, this one is our classic. Classic one on our installment five. And again, thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. Okay, so here I got my... my my little spike you see here and I got my gold coin you guys can take a look at it okay and that's that I got is a blue sheet of paper right here just place the uh, coin in the inside of it like this I'm gonna actually since you take this thing here I'm gonna actually drive it right through the coin Okay, so here I'm going to take this now, I'm going to actually just to provide a little bit of pressure here, and just uh, go right through the coin, like this. Look. Throwing through the coin. Go pull it oh, now. Now let me just open up the uh, paper here. Look. Completely intact. So how I do this? This is about to reveal the secrets. Here's what you're going to need to pass this spike right through the coin. And this is what you'll see right here. You can start some paper, cut into a long bear like square you see just right here. Almost like a bill size. You need a big gold coin or any big coin, you look for the right currency. You can also look for a nice gold one or a bronze one. That's nice and big. Why? Because you're going to place this into it. Like this. Then you will be needing is one of your plastic spikes from your coin penetrator magic trick. You'll see just right here. So those are the three simple things that you'll need for this. Here was the handling. It's very simple. All you gotta do is gonna take your paper here that you've cut. You're gonna place the coin in just like this and give it a nice loose fold up like this. Make sure it is wide in the bottom like this so that way it's easy to fall out and into your palm like this. Like that. You're gonna hold the coin like this and all they see is just this so they know the coin is inside here. It really is just back here. You're gonna take your spike and go in like this. Fold it in and just drive it in like this. Like that. Again, because of this being palmed, you can just easily pull this out and so 
the impalement back and front. After it is done, you can go into the line, the coin up in the sleeve that you've made it in, and pull out the spike like this. Push it in. After that is done, you just gotta simply unwrap the sleeve like this. Make sure that you center the coin in there. After that's done, you can take it out and then pass it around. You can take care of it. I feel I can also show us on the screen as well too and show them this magic trick. It's a very, it is a classic magic trick. It involves construction paper, your penetrating coin, Spike, and of course, a nice big coin you see just here. There's other versions of it, but that one there was my original one with the spike going into the coin by the use of construction paper. Now you know what it says, so go ahead, fold it, and uh, pull it on off to your, your, your friends and family. Now there's all two around the whole world globe. And putting magic. Their uh, screens and just having them be surprised on their tricks up your sleeves. Within these uh, videos, I just covered from all tricks from A to Z. As it is, that right there is so how you do the coin, the paper coin penetrating magic trick. Then we're going to get a broken up fork and do some mending. With it as it is, we definitely need to mend this as well too. And to our trick number four, which I like to call the mending fork magic trick, is what this will look like. Here's the performance. Okay, so here I got my broken up, my broken up a fork. You guys, watch. The action is to take that. Watch. We'll mend it. By magic, I mend the, the blue fork. So how did I mend this blue fork? As is I'm about to reveal the secrets. All you'll need is a fork for this one, or a spoon. The original one was used by a spoon, but in this in this one here is all about the fork in this one. The, tr the trick is in the handling of your hands and the fingers that will make this to look like it's broken and for the restoring to take place. So back down to the, t the table the table here. What you want to do is take your middle finger, bring it up like this, stick the fork in like that in the middle part right here, and have your middle finger going down. Use the other hand and hold it like this underneath and then just hiding your middle finger the top of it like this into your palm so like this there it gives a separation and it looks like the fork is broken all you gotta do is simply just remove your middle finger here under as you pass into your hand and close into a fist snap your fingers or wave of your fingers and then just open your fist and show the restored fork. I'm broken up fork. Now basically it restores itself, you see? Just see here in my hand. It makes another very simple um magic trick that you can do. And the one I'm gonna pull this off because all you need is just either a spoon or a fork and then by a simple hand orchestration, there you'll get yourself an amazing Fork and spoon magic trick. Or a fork or spoon magic trick. And that's how you do the magic trick. Then we get down to our, cl cl our, cl our trick classic number two. Which it is. And on our summon five to number five. And then they wait in the high five. That is sad. Anyways, here is the trick which I like to call the classical wet 
bill trick. Here's what this wet bill trick will look like. Okay, so here's the trick table. Here I have is yeah, some nice earth blue like water you see right here. And I got this blue bill, you can see. And I got this empty glass. But actually just to fold this bill up, like just gonna place it in the inside of my cup. Like this gonna actually just to just to take my water here. Gonna dump it. And like this. And look. By magic. You can see that I submerged the bill into water, but watch this. I take it like this. And look. It's completely dry. But what, what happened to the water? Did it magically just... Whoa! It took on water. That means not much water, but the bill stays nice and dry. How is this one done? As is about to reveal this classic secret to you right now. What you'll be needing is some water. There's only one drop of blue food coloring to get it to look like this. Then you need is a glass. It's a very visual trick. That's why it's all seeable. Then you'll need is a $5 bill or any bill in the right currency. Then you'll need is a gimmick, which is what you'll see here. It actually is um, a paint bottle tube that you're going to cut. Make sure you clean up really well. That way it's nice and seeable. This is going to be where you're going to put your bill in the inside of it. This is allowing it to stay nice and dry and unharmed. Okay. I'm going to break this down. This will be in the cup just like this for stunning off. And that's all that it is that you need to do. Like this. There is your setup right there. The rest is very simple. You're gonna show the bill back and front. Fold the roll up the bill and then place into the gimmick like this. And so the bill in the inside. What I just want to do is go through with your finger. Just pull the gimmick cup forward like this. You can see the crease bend. You're going to put the water in the inside of there. Be very slow as you pour it in. Like that. Not all the way up to the top. There, they can see the liquid being poured in to it. Now, this is more likely to go up. I want to make sure that your finger is touching the gimmick that way it does not rise above. There you see the water. The, the bill is is wet. To their eyes, uh, the bill looks wet because it's submerged in water. All you gotta do is just reach in, take out the bill, and so that the bill is completely dry. This will rise up. You're going to use your bill as a covering and just simply remove the gimmick and just drop this into your lap. That way the gimmick is ditched. Why do we go down? That's okay. Because you can say the bill took on the water. That's why it is low. And show the bill. And so that is completely dry and unharmed. And now right there, so you do the magic whip, wet bill trick. Cool so you could do with just a bill in the currency, a glass, a plastic cup of glass, and water with a little bit of one drop of blue food coloring. And of course, the gimmick part that you'll be needing to 
make this trick happen. Then from there, that puts us directly down to our trick number six, and that is the Restoring Wise Bite Treat Magic Trick. Because this Restoring Wise Bite will look like. Okay, so here I got my, uh, my Wise Bite. This is just a little break like that. And see, I got two of these. This place is in my hand just like this. Watch. By magic, I mend the Wise Bite Treat. So, how did I do this? As it is, I'm about to reveal the secret behind this to you right now. The trick is very simple because now I'm going to teach you how to pull this one off. Okay, here, there's the trick table, and here I got my my uh, snap bar just over here. This right here is the pack that you'll be needing, and that is the Wise Bites. Wise is an old owl. You can see there's owls on it, so that way you know that this will make you feel nice and wise. As is, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna wise our way in how the restoring was done. Okay, what you wanna do is it going to get your pack of wise bites and just give it an open. It comes only in two. Which is what you'll be, be needing for this. Right here, one, two. Very simple, very easy to do. Because all you're gonna do is keep one out, palm the other like this. You're going to just just is, is rip this off. Make sure that this part of the head of the wise bite is down like this, so you can easily break it like this and show the ripped pieces like this. All you gotta do is as you place this into your hand like this and the other, you're gonna automatically is to swap these very quickly and do that at the edge of our table but, but, but be very quick and there gets the, the, the mending and the, res, and the restoration of the wise bite treat if you're standing up you can quickly uh, do do that and um, with a big a big toss back you can dispose of them in the nearest um, garbage or Somewhere where they won't even know where it is. That way, all you see is the restored wise bite you'll see just here. And that right there is how you do the restoring wise bite trick magic trick. Here we're gonna get is two ropes in this one. One small one and one medium sized one. And have the small one to link upon to it. Which is the trick I like to call. The drop rope link magic trick, which is our seventh trick up. And here's the performance of what this one will look like. So here I hold is two different kinds of ropes. So I got one medium one and one small one. And just drop this one. I wonder what you'll do. Whoa! I just dropped this guys and look what happened. It magically linked upon the medium r rope ring you see just right here. So how did I do this one? As is, I'm about to reveal the six behind this to you, right now. And hello at the district table I am. Here, if I me, is what you need are only two things. One, a small cloth magician's rope, black tips, or whatever tips you have in magician's ropes. And a longer one. What I want to do is you're going to dress your your smallest one, your um, small medium size here, this across into a cross shape like this. The two ends for the bigger one, and give it a tie like this, and then tie it again. Like that. Tight, tight. There is just like this. With the other one, you're going to do the same. Like this. Tie that too. Must be the same tie in order to um, keep it the same tie as the other one here. 
like that. So even it out. That way it is a match, you see, just to here. So there is your setup there. It's a pretty simple, straightforward setup. What it's going to do is it's going to have this up here, and you're going to hold it like this. With this up here, you're going to hold it like that. This tie is being held up like this. That way it looks like two separate ones. Really, this is already on to here, like this. I'm going to drop this and release it. The um, pressure of your hole here, and that's what's going to allow it to drop and link onto the bottom part of the rope. Ring, you see right here. Make sure so that you're pinching this as well, too. So, here it looks like this. Make sure that they see the ring made here. All you gotta do is that loose as you drop, and by magic, it just goes completely on and it's there. I'll show you the side view on what that looks like. That's all that it is doing right there. So, and by magic, it links on to the bottom of that rope you see. You see here. It's a very simple uh, trick that you could do because it involves two different sized musicians' cloth ropes you see. That's right here. There gets the link involved with that one. And that right there is how you do the drop rope link master truck. Bring us down to our truck number eight. This one goes to the table. And a cube. That you see, just to here. What's the trick I like to call the die to the table master trick? Is what this will look like. Wait, can you shake? Watch. We'll swing it to six. Now, I'll see at the table where we will make this pass through it. Okay, so here I take my die. Right here. Means one of the uh, two of the dice. Just to let us know. Okay, you can see that I can't get right through the table. Completely solid matter, right? Here I take my, um, uh, my nice blue coconut. Napkin here, I'm gonna actually take this and wrap it over the cube like this. Uh, did I? You see, you can actually go in. It's still there. Okay, I'm gonna actually is get it in to the the table. Are you ready, guys, for this? Let's make it happen. Okay. Whoa! Where did it? Where did it end up? So how do I do this? As it is about to reveal the secrets. All you'll need is um, one of your dice, making a one. Uno means one is all two. And and um, a dice uno. <laughs> and for one, a die. Okay, trick is very simple, because all you need is a napkin. I'm us using this. Nice polka dot one. It's the same as uh, passing anything to through the table, but here is the is the um, dice cube you see right here. It's under the cover. I'm gonna actually just cover it over just like that. And uh, mold into shape. Step on the table, and so the cube like this. You're going to do this a few times and so, and then you're going to go to the edge of the table and just uh, hold it like this, let it drop like this. Make sure that you uh, keep it in shape there. That's the cube. There. You can also do it that way too, or you could just simply just fold up like that. Preferably you could do this uh, wrapped up like this if you wanted to. Like this. Wrapped up seems to be a lot a lot better. Like that. And then 
Go to a table and smack it like that. That's all that you are doing. Dice is just right here. So here, you can do this folded. I'll do this one where I'm to fold it in the revealing. Like that. Just like that. You can do it open um, all the way out, or you can simply just have it like this. So it's done. So it went through, and then with your fist, knock onto a table. So it's done. Go into your lap. And so it like that. And by magic, you'll get the um, die cube here passing to the, to the table by the use of your napkin. You see, this is this right here. Yeah, and that way, this is you do the die through the table magic trick. Then bring us down to our trick number nine, and that is the magic ring link bundle magic trick. This is what this ring link bundle will look like. Okay, so here I got this um, ring bundle here, guys. So you're gonna pick up like that. You're gonna actually. So you're gonna play a magical with this. Why? If it actually said take this and throw it out like this. One, two, three. Whoa, quite the link that was. This is. We all need to be together, like a link with each other, making things go a little bit easier for all of us. So how do I do this? This is about to reveal the secrets. All you'll need is what you see. That's right here. And that is rings that are pre-linked to get together, you see right here. So what I want to do is turn this into a bundle by going like this. That way, this is free and this is free and it'll just go like this, creating the link. Like that. This is how you make the bundle of rings by going just like this. There is a setup. It's pretty simple and very self, self working. Because the trick is already in the link of the rings you see just right here. Because together as one big world family, we all we need, what we need to do is link together to help one another on the way. So that's what this represents. Also makes a great magic trick. So here I'm just going to do is going to toss this out very quickly, like this one, two, three, and just pull these like this. So again, I'll show you. One, two, three. And by magic, they link together just like this. There's three. Put it together and make a nice unite sign. You see. Just a hair. A perfect one that you could do. There it gets the link involved. And brings us together with this one. And that right there is how you do the magic ring link bu bundle. Magic trick. Then we get down to our tenth one. And that is the magic hand floating wand. Magic trick. Is what this flying wand will look like. So here I just came in with my magic wand. You see right here. First I put the magic in. Watch me actually just to take my wand and place it into the hand like this. Watch the wand. Whoa. So how to get this one to float? It is about to have Yolda. One of the secret to you right now. All you'll need is your hollow wand. You see just right here. Gives a place to put in your like thumb into the hole of the hollow part of the wand like this. This is what's allowing it to float. Very simple because you're going to sell off the wand into your pocket of your shirt or into your pants, it seems to be here. Here, I put it into my shirt pocket right here. Take it out, swirl the wand, and do the wand moves. Like that. Take your wand, 
and as a place in the hand, you're gonna put your thumb in like just like this. Hold it like that into your hand like that. Have your fingers out to disguise your thumb. And just lift your thumb up like this. Causing it to rise. Like this. Make sure they see the end. Like this. By magic making a wand magically float by your hand. And then I gotta use let loose. Like this. Taking it off your thumb from rising to catching the wand. Just like that. I mean, that right there's how you do the magic hand floating wand. Magic trick. It's a very stunning um, magic trick that you could do that would definitely surprise every everyone with that one as well as our one big world family that we all are together. I'm giving you guys a big hug from over here. Putting my hands together and praying for you guys out there as well too. Now you know how it is done, so go find it and try that out at home. Then we get down to our 11th trick, your, our 5th installment. Coming up very soon will be our 6th one, our final one. But then I like to wait aside. You never know, it's just a few little tricks that you can do. But anyways, here is the trick to our 11th one. So here goes into a rope and a ring. And that is the family time ring and rope trick. Is what this will look like. So here I got my big rope here, got my ring, watch. By magic, I give it a yank, and it goes on to the rope. So how do I do this? This is about to reveal the secrets. All you'll need are just two simple things, or this one. First up, you'll need is a ring. You see just here. And then you'll need is a long rope. You'll see, that's right here, that's nice and woven. As you can see, that's right here. Okay, so here now, we'll get your ring here. And this big long rope, rope. I'll show you just how big this is first. It is pretty big. As you can see, you can get this in your local hardware store or craft store, which is where I found this. Okay, what you want to do is have your ring onto your arm with one and you're going to is just wrap it around a few times like this. The other end you wrap it around as well too like this. That way the rope is like this. This now is down here and it'll pass and go on with this. But what you want to do is you're gonna have your uh, arm down in the slat and yank and it'll fall onto the rope just like that. I'll show you in slow. Like that. Make sure you go for the middle, guys. So slow. Like that. But you want to be, you know, you want to be fast. We're going one, two, three. Like that, and get it on. Make sure you get jump it on the, in the middle. One, two, three. Okay, come on. You might have to huck it like this. One, two, three. Like that. Make sure you don't tug too wild or you'll end up doing that. Like that. One, two, three. Like that. A very simple trick because it involves the ring and rope. Now right there's so how you do the ring and rope trick. Makes a very cool trick that you could do. Very easy and very self-working. Then we get down to our trick number 12, and that is the Fasting Juice Cups Magic Trick. Here's what this will look like. Okay, so here I got my juice here. I got uh, two blue cups right here. What I'm going to is just open up my uh, apple juice here. Top, you see the apple juice? I'm just going to put this a little bit into this cup here. Like this, I'll bring it up closely so you can see me dumping it in. I just need that much. Okay. Gonna put the lid back on. Okay, I'm going to now is I'm going to dump the juice into my second cup.
Like that. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little switch like this. Watch. By magic, it completely vanishes. I want you guys to take a look at the cup. So how did I get this to vanish? As it is about to reveal the secrets. All you will, will be needing is a juice of choice. Here I chose was the apple juice you see right here. Then you need is blue cups, or any cups will do. Must be non-seeable. That come like this, paper cups. You see right here. What you'll need is a well-known TP, also known as uh, toilet paper or tissue paper. Get a nice good hunk like this. You're gonna preload the last cup in with it like this into the bottom of it like that. You're going to have one empty and one with the one the gimmick in here on to the other side. The end cup. This is your end cup right here. You're gonna start off by sawing the juice. Taking off the cap, then you dump a little bit into your first cup like this. Not a lot, so you can see it. And then just put the cap back on to your bottle, your juice bottle. You see right here. What you're going to do is going to dump the juice from in here into the other one like this. So you're gonna transfer it over like that, and then you're gonna switch over. The um, the uh, toilet paper will absorb it really nicely, and all you gotta do is snap your fingers or wave of your fingers over it and tip it upside down and do this. And by magic, it completely vanishes. All you gotta do is simply to remove this, go down like that at the edge of a table, rotate the cup, and so. Nothing in the inside. And that right there, so you do the fasting juice cups magic trick. And then we get to our last one, to our 13th trick here on our fifth installment. And that is the magic deck straw and bowl trick. Here's what this will look like. Hello, and welcome to the tricks table. Here I got is my blue deck this time. You guys can take a look at the cards. In the back that it's blue and so is my water too. It says cool. It says frost on it, so nice and blue. Here I got a straw here. You guys can take a look at it. Okay, I'm going to have you select a card from my blue deck. Okay, so any card of choice that you want to see. The queen. Okay. I'm going to, to do. I'm going to actually just rub the card here. Get the magic built in the inside of the card like this. I just place this on a bowl just right here. I got a straw here. I'm going to do. I'm going to actually put that magic into the straw like this first. Okay. I want you guys to come come close and see what this is happening. Watch. Couple waves. Let's go here. Get more magic inside. And look. By magic, it begins to spin on top. Of it. One more time. Get the magic in there. There we go. Look at that. So how's this done? I'll show you right now. All you need is a blue deck of cards. Here I told you bicycle cards there. Bottle. And here is a deck. Like this, so it can be a selected card of someone there, from any card that you want. Say they chose, um, 
the Queen of Hearts. All you gotta do is gonna rub the card. They'll provide the stack charge into the card. They're gonna place onto the juice bottle for amount. Like this. Take a straw and rub that too. Build charge into it because the charge is responsible for actually making it move. Spin around like this. Like that. And be very, very brisk. And end up doing this. Drink it down and let the magic drop the card off the bottle. And that right there is how you do the magic deck, bottle, and straw trick. And there you go, all 15 tricks that you could do to make the light bright and put up the love. The light there as well too. Have yourself a happy, safe rest of your February and see you back for our sixth installment. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share, share it, to it around, and don't forget to subscribe. Maybe you've seen videos just like this and so many others. I'm here, Sully.